Welcome to the Swiftcase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes, the founder of Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. And today I've got with me Craig McCarthy, development manager of Swiftcase, and Phil Whitby, uh, developer of Swiftcase. Okay, great. So today's episode is another Room 404 where we put things into uh, the room of our homage to Room 101, yeah. uh, of where we don't want to see things again because they're so irritating and we put them in room 404 and they're gone forever, banished to the pits of um, hell or whatever yeah. your affiliated <laughs> version is. Yeah. So today's topic is uh, marketing yeah. and marketing techniques or yeah. ways people market to you. Yeah. So I'm going to kick off today, I think with, we'll go with Phil. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I was having a think about this and um, there's a new approach that's only come in recently last hmm, I don't know year six months where I don't know this maybe where it's called confirm shaming okay does that make you think realise it where it is yet no. it's when you are off, given the offer so you go on a website and it yeah. says uh, subscribe uh, for 10% exactly. for a 10% discount and you yeah. go no thanks I don't want to save money right yeah and then that's so the negative <laughs> option yeah is like something like I'm a ludicrous idiot it's like so, if you if you unsubscribe yeah. <laughs> from a mailing list and it's like oh yes I really want to miss out on all these amazing yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, and there's a tumblr like with 59 pages of, and there's like 5 or 6 to each page that's a great of, of one instances of this and they're absolutely brilliant and what I'm going to do is I'll we'll put some up now um, so either they're going to flash it up or there'll be a link to them at the bottom but like just for an example, there's what this one's like, um, you know, subscribe to our you know, mailing list about recipes. It's like no thanks, I don't like good food. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Um, or I don't like no thanks, I don't like to save money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I think I these, think this has now become my favourite yeah, technique yeah. <laughs> because now whenever I unsubscribe yeah. to anything, yeah, I'm gonna be looking for yeah. it. Well, actually, yeah. one of them was really good. It was like. Um, I think it might have been Tumblr's own one or something like that. And it said, instead of saying, no thanks, it said, wah, no, I'm a baby, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Literally. So, so I think, it, 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 right, it is actually a good opportunity for people to kind of mock the process itself. Yeah. Like, so actually, yeah. it might be a good thing. Anything that's a little if meta. Yeah, if yeah, it's, yeah. you know, having a go at itself. Yeah, exactly. Well, people use that on the phone because I've had telemarketing where yeah. people have gone, oh, yeah, yeah. oh so, so you don't want to save any money? Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. you don't want to reduce your bills? And I'm like, no, I like paying more. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm totally irrational. Whatever means yeah. you get off the phone, I'm yeah, quite exactly. happy. So, yeah. So but it does trigger that feeling do it. in you, doesn't it? It does that oh, trigger that feeling where you go, I, oh, I, yeah. well, do, am I making the right choice? Is, you know, do, I, want this per- I don't want this person thinking I'm an idiot. Yeah, that that is in there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's I like, don't generally care what. No, exactly. As long yeah. as I'm polite to them, generally, you know, generally tell the marketers they're only doing a job. But I just want them off the phone. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if yeah. Whatever question they ask, they're going. But that's part of a technique, isn't it? Which is a marketing technique is to not allow you to have a negative response. Yeah. So, so really, overcoming so, objections is a thing, isn't it? So yeah. like, you say you haven't got the budget, and someone says we'll give you a free trial. Yeah, yeah. say oh we don't want to make a decision till next week okay we'll give you a free trial till next week and we yeah. can catch up then and we can yeah. give you an extended free yeah. trial you know you've always got to say got OCD and I don't like talking on the phone and I suppose this is like another step of a, yeah. like a virtual mm-hmm. overcoming an objection of someone said I don't want it let's then you're trying to overcome their objection by saying oh you don't want good food yeah, exactly. well Amazon do it amazingly actually because I constantly unsubscribe from, from Prime I don't pay the yearly fee because I only do it when I know I'm going to do a big shop. Yeah. Um, and I want the one day delivery. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, yeah, I don't know, just, just when I'm Prime sick day. of it, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Um, but when I unsubscribe from that, they say, like, oh, we'll happily refund you, but you'll miss out on all these, you know, fun things and all that. Um, and sometimes, I know with Audible at least, there'll be another page after that saying, oh, well, you know what, we really don't want you to go. We'll no. give you a free credit mm. or, you know, we'll give it to you for 99p yeah. uh, for a week, oh, that no. sort of thing. I, I love that. I love that. And it does make me reconsider. That's really interesting because that's very, that very works. similar. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's similar, that's but it's not the same, offering. is it? Because yeah. they're not saying, you're stupid for leaving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> don't feel <laughs> shame about Click that. the button like that a, says you're stupid. A yeah. stamp or a, a yeah. gun stamp yeah. on you. Yeah. But actually, it's similar to also to like the mobile phone um, contract. You know, when you want your code. 
yeah. what, I can't remember what it's called. Pack the code, is it? Pack code. Yeah. They then transfer you, don't you, to another. That's the same yeah. process, but formalised online. So they then give you an offer. I've noticed that the offers now are much worse than they used to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because people... Because they know, know people yeah. are just... I'm loyal to what I can do. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so that, that's mine. Okay. Well, I think from, from what you were saying, it probably leads on quite nicely to mine. I hate cold calling. Um, it's oh, okay. just it's yeah. it's the worst thing in the world doing um, it or being part of, uh, <laughs> no, of it receiving it yeah um, I really really can't Who's stand that? it anyone that likes it old people maybe. yeah but even even them yeah. Yeah, but the problem with them is that they can't get them off the phone yeah really but it's just it's horrific isn't it because first of all it never happens out of working hours yeah um, because that's the time they work of course yeah. so I'm never really inclined to answer it or I think it's someone trying to contact me about our work mm. directly, so I'm inclined to answer it just yeah. in case it's you know yeah, a potential yeah. customer yeah. or things like that. But no, it's always about switching energy, isn't it? <laughs> or you know just PPI, PPI pension cost, review. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's awful. I opt out of all mobile, any phone calls, anything like that. But you still get them. You still get them, yeah. Well, yeah, I think the only way to avoid them is to never actually put your real phone number into anything like that is not vitally important. So if well, I, I think even then they put mm. it, they transfer them, they sell it on, don't they? Mm. Oh, I don't, the I energy don't, companies uh, right, are obviously yeah. selling exactly. it to yeah. this energy yeah. provider somehow, or yeah. the energy mm. review thing. Well, I bought a phone for my wife last year, and I bought it from one of those like cheaper mobile phone.co.uk mm. ones they're great though, yeah. but then they sell you number yeah, phone, so, that's yeah. exactly why I receive all I know exactly why I yeah, receive yeah. all these phone calls and I, I think I entered a competition once <laughs> yeah competitions are exactly because they're just yeah. farms yeah, for getting exactly. data aren't they exactly and now I'm getting harassed constantly I know, see I, I think there's a caveat on this is I, I think there's a it's a business to consume a cold call yeah I think business to business businesses are busy and like you, you need to actually make connections with oh, people absolutely. all the businesses and so on mm. whereas business to consumer like you say you only get called in the day I only get called at dinner time there's this one company mm. literally calls me every time we just sat down for dinner their numbers like Changing comes time. up like yeah different numbers mm. so you, you carry on blocking them if the phone's picked up like you know I, like, yeah if you use like true is. caller or something you can usually see mm. yeah if it's so like I keep blocking them but I know it's like in regions where we've got customers and you think yeah, what if I'm not oh, yeah, generally my customers would ring us through the business system but what if they've got my mobile number and they're ringing me on that because there's something wrong yeah. so you do find like you're like getting up out of, like you're about to sit down and it's like yeah do you want to switch energy or this and it's just like why do they call at such stupid times Mm. It's just like well, ridiculous that, yeah, time. It could be an international thing though as well. Yeah. Well, so it, 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 well, yeah, I suppose the yeah. numbers get rerouted, don't they? And then mm. by the time they get through, they are coming calling yeah. internationally. But it's just the timing of these things. Like, why, why do, you, why don't you call either at lunchtime, yeah, or you know, at a specific time mm. in the day, yeah, like, say exactly five o'clock or something, where you know people have just finished work. It's not like a nine to five job, is it? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose with me, with cold call and then it's not so much calling me, it's more not having the, the research behind it as yeah, well. Yeah, like, it shouldn't be a cold call, it should be like a warmed up call that yeah. you know that the person you're calling is actually interested. Will be interested in. Cause yeah, so you may have like <clears throat> been in touch with you, you may have been on their website. Because yeah. like a lot of the business ones, they might have been on your website, they might have signed up to your blog, they might have done a few things and shown interest and then you then call them. I mean, no, I'm just no, working through a phone directory. Do you want to swatch yeah. your energy? Do you want to switch your energy? I don't know how many times I've, I've been in a, a road traffic accident, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit yeah. ridiculous. That? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, that's that's my one. Okay. Don't know what's it right. My one's pretty similar to yours, actually, mm -hmm. as well, but it's more in an online capacity. It's, it's kind of like the cold LinkedIn um, message, if you like. Mm -hmm. So people who connect with you. Um, and then immediately you get a message on LinkedIn. It's like within two seconds. Within two seconds of you clicking connect. So it's clearly automated, yeah. it's not there. And it's, and it's a copy and paste message. Yeah. And it always seems to be people who want me to outsource web development to. I get them all the time as well, actually. And like, you know, this company is just like a front for some like big farm, like web design yeah. farm in like India or China yeah. or Eastern Europe or something like that. Because they always come up, they've got the same price structure, and the, mm. the person's face is, must be like stock photography. Mm. 
and they just connect and straight away it's exactly mm. the same it's a it's a message that's about like you know mm. 10 lines long with the middle bit just a load of price and information it's like I only like I can only connect to you because I'm trying to grow my network on LinkedIn. Quite happy to help people. Genuine, like, you know, like this genuinely, one can actually, you might think, oh, well, they ge- yeah, they're genuinely interested. Genuinely yeah. interested in something we're doing. Yeah. There might be some mutual benefit, but no, it's like connect, yes, message straight on, sell. It's like the equivalent, <laughs> like if you went to a networking event and someone just like and you just yeah, you just like in. threw the <laughs> yeah. flyer in their face and. Like, this is our price list. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? You'd like to say hi, yeah. you like get to know the person, you ask them what they did, you tell them what you did. And that's what LinkedIn's meant to be the electronic version of, isn't it? It's a, it's yeah. a networking platform. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, you wouldn't do that in person. Not you wouldn't come and slam that not, flyer right. in someone's face on f- just like, hi, bang. It's a shotgun effect, doesn't it? Yeah, they, oh yeah, they yeah. would just do it as much as possible yeah. and eventually, the same as cold call, isn't it? Exactly Someone answers. They only need to have a return on investment. Like, it could be one percent, but they call enough people, get a big enough number. Eventually, you'll get a exactly. return. Yeah. But the trouble is, a lot of these companies don't realise is that number. If they had a better process, they'd get a better percentage. Yeah. So they're gonna run out of those people. There's only so many people they can feed into their system, and that's what I suppose is what happened with PPI. It's getting cancelled anyway, but they must have already spoken to everyone. So there's a number of pools of, yeah. of people who are left who they can contact who've never been contacted about PPI and either been responsive for it or, mm-hmm. you know, at least attempted to do it. It'd be shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. Like, like what you yeah, said with the web design stuff, off. Like, like it's literally, if they're making different accounts every time yeah. and it's literally the same message, yeah. no one's going to be interested. And loads of people are going to pick up on the fact that it's just... Yeah, you just glaze over, don't you? Yeah. Get that's copy and paste message. Yeah. It's an automated... Spam. ...thing, spam straight in the bin. So that that's my one. That's the uh, so it's the cold call LinkedIn yeah. equivalent. Mm-hmm. So which one's going to go in? I think ours are pretty similar, to be fair. Yeah. It's the, I, the, idea the, of, the idea of the cold yeah. approach, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Think. I think that has to go in because I've got a soft spot for mine. I think I think from the sound know, of I, it. I really like it now. Yeah. And it, and it's a bit of a game, isn't it, to go yeah. and find new ones? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely say like uh, we'll definitely post them on there. Some of our favourites, and uh, if you've got any favourites, I guess yeah, put them in the comments. Mm. Yes, yeah. and if there's anything else in marketing that really annoys you that you want to go into room four hundred four, drop those in the comments mm. as well. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. So cold approaches to marketing are going into room four hundred four. Yeah. Yeah. And um, hope that means you won't ever get a cold call yeah, again, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And if you want um, a warm approach oh, from us, then don't forget to head over to <laughs> swiftcase.co.uk and also follow us on social media at swiftcase.uk. And don't forget to subscribe. Brilliant. That's been great. So thanks for listening and watching the Swiftcase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes and we'll see you again next time. Bye.